Oh, no, 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 no. What the? What the? So I tried to upload this video yesterday, but apparently YouTube has a file size limit, and this video is just too high quality for YouTube. So this left me no choice but to split the 4K hour and 15 minute long masterpiece in half, and upload it as two separate videos. So this is part two, and apparently part three drops tomorrow. Enjoy. This video is a piece of history and is easily one of the craziest adventures I've ever been on in my entire life. Straight up as Florida as it gets. It's the most sore I've ever been and it's the longest hike I've ever gone on into the middle of nowhere. As you can see this video is an hour long. I really tried to cut it down but between everything that happened, it has to be. This is what I will consider to be part 2 of the Hurricane Ian vlog. If you haven't seen part 1, it was gnarly. The link's in the description. This is really a video I recommend watching the whole thing. Sit down on your couch, grab some popcorn. This is a Juke Squad movie. If you guys enjoy what we do, press around 40,000 buttons to get this video on YouTube. If you guys want to press just a few for me, drop a like and subscribe. It's really easy and it helps support the dream. This hurricane brought 20 plus inches of rain all across the state of Florida, causing historic flooding in so many areas. We felt in a lot of ways helpless. Every road we went down seemed to be flooded, and no one could really get anywhere unless you had an airboat. We considered putting our jet skis in the water to help people, but we heard there's so much debris everywhere that we would probably just end up breaking our jet skis. So we did what we felt was the best thing that we could do, upload updates on the hurricane to inform you guys and to help keep you guys safe. I said this in one of my last updates before landfall. If you are in the direct path of this storm, I would not stick around. Yeah, super scary situation though. Just start praying for people in Cape Coral, Northport, Bonita Springs, Naples, Marco Island, anywhere in this area is gonna be so, so affected by the storms. It's gonna be bad down there. It is gonna be bad. We're gonna see a lot of damage. Worst case scenario, parts of South West Florida right now. Absolute worst case scenario because the damage from this storm was unlike anything any of us have ever seen. After the hurricane, we hit up our friend who owns property selling fill dirt in the middle of Florida. His land is extremely flooded and he told us we can go out there and search for shark's teeth if we want since there's nothing he can do with the land until the water dries. But we didn't know how flooded it was. Five out of six of the roads that we attempted to drive down to get there were flooded. The Peace River along with the Mayaka River are nearly at record levels. We spent an hour trying to get around the Peace River, even going back to a spot that we attempted, thinking that the water would have gone down because it's already almost two days since the storm passed over Florida. But we came back to witness that the road that was once dry is now completely underwater. Two days later, the water level is still rising in the rivers, because all this water dumped all across the state of Florida and is finally making it to the rivers. On our seventh attempt, we made it across the Peace River. I'm not sure we're gonna make it. But we weren't able to drive on the property because it was so flooded. So we had to walk an extra two miles only to realize that it's more flooded than any of us thought possible. down. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Everybody else evacuated. We're riding bikes. Oh, worried about these guys and those guys. We're good. We're good. Hurricane relief effort Scumbledore is saving the day. Thank you. Dumbledore. Minor damage here. We're good to go. You're out on the beach. We didn't even leave the island. Ha!
Now we're leaving the island after the storm to go find shark's teeth. I'm going to be adding timestamps throughout the hunt so that you guys can see how long these things go on for. All right. Day after the hurricane, central parts of Florida got over 20 inches of rain. What does that mean, boys? Shark's dead. Shark's dead. There appears to be a strange fog rolling in. Megalodon teeth. Yeah, when it rains this much, it washes all the rivers and all the banks, all the sediment. It allows us to find all of the shark's teeth. We're hopefully gonna find a hundred megs. I brought two cases there Shark's under there. Shark's teeth bigger than our pee -pees. Yep. Go stick while he's gonna pee himself. <laughs> Slow down, bro. It's a stop yes. sign. There's a down tree. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude, ah! Holy. Look, there was a bunch of on the road right Oh, here. yeah, they cut it all down. Yeah, then we would have not. Look at it that all is not a lake. Yeah. That is just flooding. Oh my god. Yeah, careful. The road might be flooded up here. Hopefully we make it to where we're trying to go. We're not even where it rained the most yet. All leaning. Oh. Look, look at all crooked. Crazy high atmosphere bands rolling through. Power lines in the background toppled. That's so sketchy. Everybody's just driving on the still fall at any time, you know. There's a da several down oak trees over here. Sheesh. Oh my god. That's like a tornado right there. Sheesh, it's getting gnarly up here. Power's definitely out out here. Yeah, I see the line as well. We're still good. making wakes in the car. Two miles into our walk. A couple more miles to go. The African safari. Trying to get to the land of shark's teeth. This is what it takes. How many detours did it take? Six? Yeah, it took us four hours to get somewhere that was like an hour and a half away. We had the National Guard blocking the road. Yep. We had three or four different times cross blocking the road. Three times water blocking the road. Yeah, we tried to drive across water, didn't make it out. We walked big deep into the water. 
got a bit more hiking to go. I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you know that we're walking several, several miles through this. It's gonna get worse. And we'll see you guys once we have shark's teeth. Oh, oh, boots are wet. <laughs> boots are wet, boys. <laughs> Okay, so the last time we were here, this was a road. I don't know what that says for how many teeth we're going to find, but it's either going to be really, really, really good or really, really bad. The lakes on this property were easily up 20 to 30 feet higher than before the storm. Then, disaster struck. I hear Stickbug yell, Ow! Ow! Guys! I'm f I got flayed by a piece of metal! He was freaking out. We poured water on it, tied a shirt around it, and after a few minutes, he seemed to be okay. And the bleeding stopped. Alright, we just had a near meltdown. Stick bug, stepped off a ledge, freak piece of metal, split his sh wide open to the point where we thought we were going to have to go back, but he is the goat. It's not bleeding anymore, we're taking it really slow. And we're gonna go find shark's teeth. How much blood do you think is inside your boot right now, oh, Stickbug? <laughs> I got a bloody red boot. Dude, you scared me. <laughs> we had already hiked two miles. We were right next to the piles, and Stickbug was willing to push a few hundred feet to get to the shark's teeth. Only when Scummy went to take a dookie, he found one of the best teeth that we've ever found in the Bone Valley Formation. Scummy just walks up to me with this. Oh my god. It was truly a testament to Florida's unique color of shark's teeth. If you were wondering why Florida has some of the best colors of shark's teeth on the entire planet, it's because it has some of the most rich minerals in the ground out of anywhere in the world, causing Florida to have some of the coolest colored teeth on the planet and the most sought after shark's teeth in the entire world. But I didn't find for about 45 minutes. Then all at once found myself a pocket of some epic teeth washed out by Hurricane Ian itself. There she is. First of the night. Slowly, the night is becoming worth it. Popping Megs. Finally popping Megs. And I'm gonna let this clip play out because I found so many teeth in just two to three minutes. Actually, the majority of the teeth that I found the entire night was within five minutes at this one spot. Okay, massive tiger shark tooth. Scoot. Tooth. See what's down here, there's a lot of stuff out here. Make sure I get everything. Now obviously very good material. Two, stingray mouth plate, another tooth, puffer fish mouth plate, giant bowl, another giant tiger shark tooth, stingray barb, holy fuck, hold on, I put all this stuff in my pocket really quick. Hemi, blue and white Hemi. Oh, there's still so many teeth right here. Okay, we're not done. Yeah, another tooth, another tooth, another tooth. All right, Meg, Meg Frag. on the way up. I'm gonna keep picking up small teeth because there's a lot. Oh, gator tooth, or this might be a barracuda actually. Another tooth. All blue stuff. Pretty cool. Whoa. I'm not even sure what that is. All right, 
a giant stingray bug. Alright, we're not done. We're still not done. Picking this up. Okay, now the reason I started the camera. Let's end it with a bang. God, I've walked so f***ing far tonight. And there's Meg. It's in there. Time for a two plus mile hike back, then a two hour drive home. Stickbug woke up the next day in what he said was the worst pain of his life. So he went to the hospital where they cleaned him out, stitched him up, and he went home. If only the story ended there. Oh, dude, mental urchin session. <gasps> Oh, don't break it off, dude. Yeah, get the right angle. <laughs> dude, that thing sucked. Here we go, day after the hurricane. Immaculate vibes on the beach. We got some branches we're gonna have to clean up. We're chilling. That's all we got. Oh, this thing's a little smoked. <laughs> nice. The beach is still here. Just bobbing? How's the hurricane, Clayton? Good. There's some berries in here. Picking some berries? Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh. Feeling absolutely defeated after the last hunt, we decided it was time to give it another go. There was so much out there that we couldn't reach due to it being underwater, nearly just to swim away. We actually brought a raft out the last time, and we're going to attempt to float out to the mountain islands, but with Stickbug in the state that he was in, we couldn't do it. We got so close, but didn't make it to the promised land, so the very next night, we had to go back. Well, dog ran out in the road, lady in front of me locked her brakes up, I had to... I had to uh, exit the road. Look at this dude. Oh no, another truck is coming. There's a truck, there's a truck. Meg is a legend. Dude, he was just trying to lift it. You can't park there! Dude, that's maybe a shot. I'll count to nine. that sucks. It'll be all right. Just drive off it. Go in reverse. <laughs> you, you can stay where you're at. You're behind us, man. What are you doing, 
bro. Oh, the Mandela. I'm not moving. Yeah, that's all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure the other side of the truck is not Hey, you should really do a U turn and drive around and we should go refilm that because we filmed all that driving by the six truck. Like we're not making it for sunset again. Fly the drone while you can. Well, this is going well. Almost killed some dogs. Ran into a dead end. Found our way around. Time to walk two more miles. Like, we just gotta get the jeep. <laughs> it's just fine, dude. Got a little little snicker. Listen, man, it's already flooded. Road less traveled, huh? There was a road here. Looks like we're not going that way. Keep an eye out for alligators. You can see their eyes. Where we're walking right now are normally the tops of 20 to 30 foot piles. They now have water all the way to the top. There's no gators that we can see. I see at least two in here, so I'm just walking. They're on the high ground. Are you on that pile to the right, probably? Oh, yeah. Um, we're going to find shark teeth, and what makes this hunt different from any other hunt we've ever been on is that we brought a surfboard. So I could jump on the board and surf across and then step off. Like Are right, you ready, Brian? You're falling stick now. I do not need you hurt here. Probably should just go slow, guys. Don't, don't make any big splashes that would attract any alligators or anything. Ah. Uh. Jeez, Jake. Can you, you hold walk that here. side, I'll hold this side. Let you me can walk across. Yeah. Come on, Joe. Do it. It's going to sink a little bit. If I didn't sink so that it's a closer way. Yeah. And then I'll just. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is where we were last night. Wait, where's my phone at? Where's that phone? Can you throw this in my backpack? Like Ryan, all the way in? All the way in? You want me to open that right now? You said turn my light off? It looked like a frog, so give it to Trey. Oh, it's Right Just shine on Jack. Yeah, I'm gonna jump and then knee paddle. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I mean I can't wait to see your house real fast, but yeah, trying to 
Hey, check that shine right in front of you out there, all right? See it, like, right here? The board's 30 foot to your left, that's straight ahead. Really? How far you gotta go? Oh, uh, there's that pile by right. He's gotta go by those eyes to get to the pile. There's some eyes by those logs to the left yeah, of the pile. Jack, ca careful over there. There's something shiny. I, I don't think it's gator eyes. It's like more blue. See it over there? Keep your light on, Jack, to someone. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get to anything else though? All right, well, don't put the backpack on. Are you good to cross now? Nope, not yet. It might be though. Oh uh, no, we got no. The, the fins aren't helping. Hold on. I was really hoping we were gonna have to use that thing, Brian. Let's try not to use it on the way back. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. He's coming, Brian. Straight ahead. It looks small. It's all his eyes. His eyes are like That's not true. Like that. That wide. This yeah, one's located. Sure. You wanna go over and look at him? Okay, has anybody tried walking? Not yet. God damn it. Now I'm cold and we're stuck out here in the water. I was heading towards it. I'll go for it first. I'm with you. Yeah. Bring with third for it. He's not moving. Yeah, you let Trey come to him. Huh? You let Trey come to them. You can throw a giant log if you Maybe we just shouldn't paddle that way. You should just go to the pile. Paddle straight to the pile? Yeah. Hold on, I got the fish in my I'm scared. I'd rather hit this mid pile. We have like a 15 foot gap where it's dead. This sucks. No. No. How how deep is it you in front of? Those eyes are like, dude. I can only see one eye. That's I can't a four tell foot you. gator. <laughs> no, dude, that might be a decent uh, gator. Dude. I know. I'm not lying. He's point. He's coming at us now. <laughs> hey, Trent, come back here. No. Trent, come back. I'm scared. Just go back. He definitely likes that we're here. Mm. I tell you, motherfuckers, I've seen an eight footer in here. I'm filming. Here, dude. He's still coming this way. He does not look little. I see hey. him. Just slowly go towards him, Brian. And if he comes at us, you'll know. Jeffrey got bit underwater. Is that fishing line loose? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Brian, you're go. Brian's just going to the gator. Hey, don't lose the board. Don't lose the board. I got it. I got it. It's right next to you, Jack. You're going to pull. Yeah, we all go over there. I'm not scared of a gator if we're all together, but they're, they're going to sneak up on us. Trin, you should be behind Jack. Jack, I should be with you. you should go right after. Come on, walk up. Let's get you up there. Keep an eye on the gator. Yeah, I got it. I... <laughs> oh, he's over back by the grass. He's back by the grass. Yeah, you got your backpack right. Paddling to Meg Island. There's an owl hooing in the background and a gator, which we know about. Should be shallow. Should be shallow. <sighs> Promised land. Hopefully. Good to go. After battling the alligator, we finally got.
to the mountains that we were trying to get to. So we all dried off, put our clothes back on, and boom, right next to where we were sitting, first tooth of the night. Oh, -ho. nice hemi. There's the first hammy. First tooth of the night, actually. That is not bad for the first tooth of the night. After a three mile hike through tons of mosquitoes, thousands of spiders, water, mud, swamp, and alligators, we started finding shark teeth. I don't care about other teeth, I want to see teeth. Paddle through alligators and test the water to see this. Look at the little one next to it. Or get right under it. Look what I just found <laughs> in Lemon five pepper. seconds. Dude, let me get some. Look at the f***ing body. I know. Oh my god, Trin, pull that thing. What's the front look and the back look like? Oh, Six. <laughs> Skeleton. <laughs> come here, come here. First Meg of the night. Trin as well. Right here? Broken, but its Ooh. colors are insane. Oh. And then come over here. Yeah, it's cold, Hammy. <gasps> What's that? That looks like a horse tooth or something right there. <laughs> Alright, I gotta dig this thing out. Oh, please. Come on. Go! Boom. Gold, Bone Valley, Hemi. Pretty much perfect. How are those colors? Oh my god. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness! Are you still rolling? <laughs> <laughs> Chill out! Dig that one out. Oh! No, this is like fake. This is like fake. Oh, it's good going. Oh, this thing turned out sick too. World class colors. Alright, come here. Get it close up in here. It's like one, two, three, four. Look at this one. Look at that hurricane. Full shark. Can you get close up on that? Oh, it looks like it might be there. Is it? Oh, <coughs> no, it might be there. That doesn't look very broken to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we're on patrol. That thing was barely showing good eye. I told you this. Oh my God, I walked right past that. <laughs> I was trying to say save some. I was For like, us? Yeah. But then I found it. Oh my god. It's okay. Careful the area. Careful here. Yeah. You can put some water on these things. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Really? Boom. 
Most of the teeth here are missing the tip, but look at the burlette and the color. This thing's still insane. That just happened too. Trin, stay over there. I got one over there. We can't lose where it's at. Oh my God. Oh, pull it, Brian. Yo, I can come over here. I got a tooth too. Come here. Oh. We're looking at teeth. Everybody's getting stoked in the background, but that's one of Brian's better teeth. This was during his nice two for one, or was it a four for one? I think it was a two for one. Stay right there, Trent. Oh, giant vert. What the f This is crazy. This place is crazy. I had to reset the clip on the side of this. Oh, I found another one. What the f What the f Oh, sh that's not even the tooth I was looking for. Oh, dude. That thing's beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, right there. Oh, my That's not God. even the tooth that I'm talking about that I have to go dig up. Oh, Brian. Oh, Jack. Come here, hold this. Boom. This was definitely one of my best makes of the whole night. Nuts colors. It's got like ripples across the burlette too. Oh wait, this is a cool barb. Holy stuff, guys. Look at this. Ooh. Oh no. That thing. It'll be like two or three. Oh, it's a posterior. Oh. How's that two for one? Three for one? Four for one? <laughs> Four makes for one? Trin Wizards. Uh, Is that it? Yeah. Oh my Do you god. One? That was four in how long? I got this one too. Oh no, it's not. That was four at the same time. Yeah, four at the same time. I have two more mags. Do you want those no, two? No, we'll get clips later. Keep going. <laughs> Boom! My posterior of the night. That's pretty cool. It was more rare for sharks to lose the teeth in the back of their jaw. So that's always cool. And like I said, I had to split this video into two segments. This video is not even close to being over. Come back tomorrow at 3 p.m. to see what happened to our boy Stickbug in the hospital, to see if we make it out of this shark's tooth hunt alive, and to see our haul on the single best night out shark's tooth hunting of our entire lives. All that and more to come. But first, a quick message and the original outro. Before you guys get out of here, we have some news. First, if you enjoy what we do, please drop a like on this video. Our videos will always be for free. However, we are now doing channel memberships. We were gonna do it on Patreon, but we decided and were advised to do it all on YouTube. So now you can click the join button next to subscribe and become a member of the Juke Squad channel. What's cool is you'll get a little Bigfoot next to your comments on our videos, and it will also prevent your mother from being kissed. We will be responding to all member comments in recent videos. You'll get exclusive behind the scenes looks at videos that we're working on. We're gonna be uploading exclusive behind the scenes content once a week here on YouTube in the members section of the channel, and we're really excited about it. All we've ever wanted is to be funded by you guys so we can continue making videos doing what we love and creating content so if you guys want to become a member become one of the first members of the juke squad channel today and you can work your way up to one of those golden bigfoot badges I also must give a shout out to MegRanch.com. This is our project entirely created by the juke squad this was our way of funding the Megalodon ranch through the fans if you want to purchase slash mint a tooth on the website once the collection is revealed you will have a tooth from this collection shipped to your house not only that your nft will become your ticket to come hunt with us I'm letting you guys know this because it's good for up to 10 hunts with us. It's only about 200 bucks right now. You'll have a tooth shipped to your house and you'll get 10 hunts on the Megalodon Ranch. This is literally 90% off of what we'll be charging once the ranch opens and once our holders get first dibs on hunts. There's a kind of a bad stigma in the NFT space, but this is our project. There's only going to be 500 of these NFTs sold and if you are interested in fossil hunting, this is probably the best deal that you're ever going to get to go hunt for teeth on private land with permission. If you don't know how to mint something on OpenSea, just look up a tutorial on YouTube and it'll be explained for you guys. I love you all so much. Epic prank dropping next week. We'll see you guys soon and the best is yet to come. I promise.